Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. All is the son of Nube is my name and this time I want to discuss politics. There is a number of people that have been asking about what is happening back home because you know in Zimbabwe there is a lot of polarization in the, in, in the media and at the end of the day you end up not knowing what exactly is transpiring especially where in the toxicity of our politics we have journalists also dabbling and acting propagandist for some political parties or factions and this particular uh, issue that i want to talk about which has been a talking point for the past few weeks is the issue involving the mainstream opposition party that is the citizens coalition for change and when we say they are the mainstream opposition party we are talking about the results of the last election because that's determined who according to the parties that contested the elections becomes the winner and in fact it created the political parties rated them according to how they got their votes and as we know the main party that won the elections was zanu pf led by president emerson Nangakwa, followed by triple c which at that particular time wore yellow and was being led by advocate Nelson Chamisa, who has since left the party because he accuses some members of the opposition party of being infiltrators sent by Zanu PF. That was because he was frustrated by the actions of a man who claims that he is the secretary general of the party, that is Mr. Sengezo Chabangu, who uh, complained that Chamisa was imposing candidates uh, in especially Matepeleland and we saw the recalls that took place soon after that. So this is what we want to talk about because people want to know who is in charge of Triple C, is the party still alive, what has happened because the party has some members in parliament both in the lower and upper houses so they want to know who exactly is in charge because there has been a faction that's been led by uh, Professor Weshman Nube, there is another faction that we saw promise Mkwanazi speaking on behalf of, and then there is another one which met or instituted the recalls that is led by Sengezo Chabang. So people want to know what exactly is happening in that particular party. Who is in charge? Have they found each other? Is Chamisa really out of the party? So this is what we talk, want to talk about, but before we go ahead, I would like to request that you subscribe to this channel like this video and share it but also participate in the discussions that we have you may participate via the comment section you may participate by writing to us via our facebook page avg news is there on facebook you can also whatsapp us via the following numbers 071-890-8039 or 073-962 3075 and then we'll take it from them but now the issue that is happening in zimbabwe right now within triple c is that the party according to what government has said has been torn into not only two not only three but four factions with one being led by sengezo chabangu the other one is being led by jameson timber and promise mkwanas as well as another by professor Westman. in fact uh, there seems to be uh, a new discord between Jameson Timber and Promising Corners with each now said to be leading his own faction. So what has happened is that these four guys have each written to government, that is to uh, the Minister of Justice, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs, you know that is uh, Ziambi, Ziambi, asking for government to disperse party funds into four different bank accounts led by each of those and they all claim to be legitimate leaders of triple c you will remember that after nelson chamisa left triple c uh promising corners immediately held a press conference where he said that he is still in charge of the party and then he said that he had in fact become in charge of the party then he held another press conference where he said that uh the national standing committee had met and elevated jameson timber into the presidency of the party so now we don't know why then promising corners would also ride 
parallel to what Timber wrote to the Ministry of Justice, claiming that he is running the party. So, so far, uh, government is saying that it is not going to disperse any funds to any of these factions until, unless and until their fights or their internal fighting has been resolved. And they say that, the government says that only the courts can make a determination as to who is indeed the legitimate leader of Triple C and which one of the four factions is the legitimate Triple C because of this infighting. It's either that route of going to the courts or these four factions find each other and jointly write to government saying we have found each other and this is what is going to happen. Uh, so disperse the funds to this joint account. So we are told that ZANU-PF has already written to government, you know, even though there are factions within ZANU-PF, they are fighting within the confines of one center of power that is being led by President Emerson Nangakwa. So they don't have any fights as to who is the leader of the party because they all be, uh, agree that President Emerson Nangakwa is their leader. They may be fighting on who is going to take over from Nangakwa or whether or not Nangakwa should call for his third term that we hear he is trying to get if the party does manage to find to get the two-thirds majority which they haven't yet uh, garnered. So what we are told is that uh, there were four separate letters. One was from Timber as I've said. The other one was from Chabang, the men who made the recalls. Then uh, Welshman Nube who was also elevated to one of the acting presidents alongside Tendai Biti and Lynette Karonye, Karenyi Kakore, but at, on, in alternating intervals has also written, but also Promise Mkwanas has written also, which means that despite declaring Jameson Timber as the leader of the party, Promise Mkwanas is also harboring his own personal ambitions, and he has written to the Ministry of Justice, uh, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs, claiming that he is indeed the leader of uh, the party which he says publicly that Jameson Timber leads. We don't know why he would do that. Is it all uh, political gamesmanship? Is it a game of uh, people having fought behind the scenes? Or is it a matter of uh, promise trying to use Jameson Timber and, and then after failing to use him, then decides to grab the party funds for himself, we don't know. But what we are told also is that Nelson Chamisa is not entirely left the triple C. He's actually using some of his guys. Uh, and we are told that the appearance of one of his guys, that is Amos Chibai, alongside Promise Mkwanazi, was in a way a show that he is behind the triple C faction that has Promise Mkwanazi. And Chibaya, we know he's a right hand man of Nelson Chamisa. So there's a lot that is going on. And we're also told that Chamisa is intent on making sure that those who hounded him out of the party by recalling some of his preferred candidates like Gift Ostalo Siziba and Prince Tubego Sibanda do not get what they want. And this time the fight is over money. You know that Chamisa has been very famous for his Gudira Checha uh, method. And we are told that. He is intent on making sure that these guys do not get the money that is due to the party. And he is adamant that if needs be, then no money will be dispersed, dispersed to Triple C. Because if it's dispersed to these other guys, it means that he and his faction don't get anything. You also saw uh, an interview that was held recently uh, on YouTube between one of the YouTube channels and gift us talus Siziba, where we sp he spoke authoritatively uh, on behalf of Triple C, and he said that the legitimate Triple C faction is the one that's being led by Jameson Timber, and he even said that uh, Promise Mkwanazi is the real spokesperson or the legitimate spokesperson of Triple C, which means that uh, Ostalos is a right hand man of Nelson Chamisa, just as Amos Chibaya is, and he's saying that. Gift, I mean, he's saying that Chibaya, no, he's saying that um, Jameson Timber is the legitimate leader of Triple C and Promise Mkwanazi is the legitimate spokesperson of Triple C, which is, which means that they are still involved and angling for one of the factions. But now that 
timber and promise seem to have differently written or separately written to the Ministry of Justice, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs claiming party funds. We don't know what this is going to bring forth. Is it a new factionalism between these two leaders? Is it a new faction within a faction rising within Triple C? But we will also try and reach out to Nkwanazi and Timba himself as well as the other factional leaders of this party to find out what their next move is going to be. For now, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.